Hello. We have created a personal finance tool that is user-friendly and facilitates budgeting for your personal finances. It is especially useful for young professionals and recent college graduates who may be moving to a new city and starting their careers. When you open the personal finance tool, the first thing you'll notice is the security warnings at the top. You'll want to enable the use of macros in order to ensure that the tool runs properly. Click the Options button, press Enable this content, and say OK. The file opens to an input sheet. This sheet is broken up into three sections, including basic information, investment decisions, and estimated budget. When you, the user begins by inputting personal information into the input sheet starting with annual salary, say $55,000, the state of Georgia, filing status is single, as I've just started um, my new career. I'm going and moving to the Highlands in Atlanta, Georgia. And I don't have any federal deductions that I know of other than these below. And the education I've achieved is an undergraduate degree. Now, moving down to investment decisions, I've decided that my annual 401k investment, I want to be uh, $5,000. I'm not really sure I want to do a health savings account at this point, so I'm going to skip that section and go to IRA investment, where I'll also have another uh, $2,000. I have no personal business expenses and no other investments. And my risk tolerance right now is aggressive because I'm young and I have 40 years until retirement. You can click these buttons, it ranges from 1 to 40, 5, and the risk tolerance goes from passive to aggressive. Obviously with my young state, I'm going to go with aggressive. Now, then I enter into the estimated budget area, the rent, I'm going to say $750, utilities of $150. Uh, apparel, I'm not going to be spending a lot of money on clothes right away, so I'm going to put it a 100 monthly budget. Uh, transportation, I can use Marta, so I'm going to limit it to 200. Healthcare, 300. Entertainment, 200. Now, what's really neat is I have a student loan calculator here where you can click and provide your student loan amount. So I have $15,000 worth of loans and an estimated uh, interest rate of 6% and I have 10 years to pay back this loan. And click the Calculate button, and it gives you your monthly payment, which then is entered into the cell here. Education, I'm not going to spend much money on a cell phone. I'm going to spend $100 a month for my smartphone. Um, food, $400 a month. Dining out, I'm going to limit that to $100. Um, and then miscellaneous, another $100. Now that will then press the Calculate Expenses button, gives you your total expenses. Now you're ready to see your budget results. When you press the button, it refreshes uh, all the information on this sheet, including your financial situation up here, budget comparison, budget outcome, and all of the graphs. Now you'll notice that it provides salary information, including your monthly income after taxes, both federal taxes, state taxes, social security, um, and any of the deductions, whether it's a standard deduction or the amount of your 401k, health uh, savings account, business expenses, etc. And it gives you a monthly income here. Your estimated budget is provided, that you provided in the input sheet is provided here. And then a comparison for the area code in which you listed is provided here. As you can see, the expenses I have estimated is lower than the average for a household in this uh, in the highlands of Atlanta, Georgia. Now, over in this area, you'll see the budget outcome, where your monthly budget and estimated monthly expenses uh, give you either a surplus or uh, a debt amount. Right here, I'm running a $50 surplus, which is good, and it gives you uh, a graph, that, a graphical representation of the percentage that you're spending on each item. Uh, for example, rent is pretty high at 31%, um, and it also gives you a budget comparison for what you're spending towards uh, each section and what the average household spends. Now, you can either go back to the input page or move to change whatever inputs that you decide to have.
or you can go forward to the retirement section. Let's go forward now. When you go forward, you'll see that it takes a little while for it to load and refresh. That's because uh, it's actually generating a data table with the information for the number of years until retirement and the monthly contribution that you're entering. Um, as you see, it takes a little while to load, and then it finally does. The uh, colors, the colorful representation shows the lowest amount uh, of the outcome and the highest amount of the outcome. Lowest being in red, highest being in green. Um, this is represented here in this legend. Um, also provided is a summary of the calculation values. The number of years until retirement that I selected was 40. The monthly contribution was calculated for, through the 401k investment, the IRA, and the other retirement investments that I mentioned before. Um, because I was young, I chose an aggressive investment style, and because of that selection, the average growth rate of the investments um, was selected. Uh, and you also have chosen retri retirement outcome, and then the potential outcome if I had uh, contributed $300 more and $300 less than what I actually selected. And that is given in the graphical representation here. This wraps up the presentation of our personal finance tool. We hope you find it useful.